ho! Merry Christmas! Christmas Town is actually a place in heaven. And for those who don't know me, um, you, you may not be able to wrap, wrap your natural mind around anything that I say because it comes by revelation. Revelation comes from the heart of the Father. It's not man's thoughts, man's ideas, or man's plans. It's God's. And so uh, I've been taking on tours of heaven, not just once, but many times. And before you start, you know, beating me up, I forgive you. I forgive everybody out there. So don't waste your time doing that. I have too much of a life to live for Jesus Christ. But I do want to say this. Years ago, Kenneth Hagen Sr. had somebody working for him who actually is still on the earth. Her name is Billy Brim. And, um, and he would tell Billy Brim, before these days are over, uh, things that will begin to happen. He said, I won't be here. This Kenneth Hagin Sr. speaking to Billy Brim, who worked for him, okay? And, uh, and he said to her, before these days are all over, something great will begin to happen. God will begin to catch people up to heaven and taking them on tours. Really, those are his words. And then bringing them back to earth. This is without dying. So they can share revelation about heaven. And that he said that to Billy Brim. And when she found out about me, she was so excited. She called me. I sent her my first book. I think I sent her the second book too. And she said she knew this was true because years ago, Kenneth Hagin Sr., who's now in heaven, uh, had told her this would happen. And she saw that I was taking on tours continually. She knew that was the truth. So there's somebody right there who's an eyewitness that God had this planned all along. I just happen to be one of those people. I've been taken to many places in heaven over the last 20 some years. And I was taken to exciting, profound places that were so filled with awe and wonder, but I was also taken to places to have fun. And the father said to me, why would I not have fun if I said in my word, you know, you must come like a little child he said, I'd be in a lot of trouble if I didn't have fun places for people who are like little kids to play in. And one of the places I was taken to is a, a place in heaven where it snows all the time. Now, I know a lot of people are going to love this. More will love it than not. It snows all the time. But you have to remember, I'm talking about heaven, not the earth. The snow is alive. Everything in heaven has life. The plants sing, the plants talk, the birds, the creatures, even the buildings shout out, the ground shouts out all the time mm -hmm. and worships Jesus Christ. They have a place called the Friendly Forest. You can go and have conversations with trees, with the rocks, mm -hmm. uh, with the creatures. There's so much life there. You can't escape it. So I hope that under makes you understand. In, in Christmas town, when you go there, that is where Nicholas lives. Yes, Nick. Some people call him Saint Nick. Some people call him Santa, call him whatever. His actual name is Nicholas. And God created a place that he knew one day. So this place has been around. Don't go into the Druids and all the stuff that it's a bad place. And it's part of this thing and this thing. I'm sorry, but God was there. Heaven was there before anybody was born on the earth. He had places already planned in heaven that he knew that we would love to come there. And he knew people would come home and use their gifts in heaven, which is what you do. So Nicholas had a place all prepared for him when he passed to come. Nicholas lived in the 3rd century, I think 270 AD. That's really close. You know, it's only 270 years after Christ died. So everybody was still talking about him, knew about him in those days. But of course, you know, our enemy, Satan, wasn't happy about that. So he'd always send people out into the crowds, into places to talk against. 
the deity in the person of Jesus Christ. So Nicholas was actually, this is the person who people then made him become like Santa Claus. He actually was a very wealthy person. He lived in Turkey. You can look all this up. Even I think Wikipedia talks about it. He lived in Turkey and uh, he would defend her the faith. And I think he was even a bishop. But he was very fierce when people would attack the person of Jesus Christ or speak against who he was. He had a staff. He would use that staff for things other than leading his sleigh. How about that, people? He actually had a sleigh. He would take gifts to children. He used to set them outside their home at that certain time of the year. And then thieves would begin to come by and get it. So he is the one who actually started the whole stocking thing. The parents would hang stockings inside and Nicholas would come by and leave gifts for them. This is the truth I'm telling you. And so out of that came the wonderful story we have now. But I do want to say this. He lives there. He loves the snow. It's snow where he lived on earth. And so God created this beautiful place. When you make a snowman in Christmas town in heaven, it is alive. So I kind of laugh at some of the Christmas songs and the things that they say. Uh, your sleigh can go through the, through the air. It can go on the ground. Uh, there's all kinds of things to enjoy there, ice skating. And uh, I, I learned from the Father that our seasons on the earth are here. There's four main seasons. And we know that there's winter, summer, spring, and fall. And God said, I took a, a, a shadow of an actual place that exists in heaven. I took a shadow of it and made it a season on the earth. So that's one of the reasons why we have snow on the earth, because it is in heaven. It was there first. And so he made this beautiful place. It's like this beautiful village. And everybody goes there with their families who are in heaven. And yes, everybody gives gifts. But the, excuse me, the main thing they do in Christmas town is they celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. It's like happy birthday all the time in heaven because people go to there to see. Sometimes Jesus will show up and people will bring him gifts. They pile gifts, gifts you know, at a place for him. Uh, but they get gifts before they leave Christmas Town because there are huge trees in Christmas Town. And all the lights on the trees are baby stars like that he plucked out of the sky, put them on the trees, and they all sing worship music to Jesus, but they also sing Christmas songs. So this is a delightful place that, that kids will love to go, but even big kids, you know, uh, parents and whole families go to this beautiful place, and they really enjoy it. So that's where Nicholas lives. He made this place where Nicholas has a shop. He still makes toys. And my brother recently passed, and he used to say all the time, when I get to heaven one day, I'll work with St. Nick. Well, guess what? He does. <laughs> he actually does. He would create, my brother would create toys on the earth. Every single Christmas, he would dress as Santa Claus. He would go give gifts away. He would visit places to be, be that person. Of course, he honored Jesus Christ in his heart more than anything else. And I want you to know, Nicholas himself loves Jesus Christ. And that's why, therefore, the shirt... You know, here's a shirt right here with Santa and having to do selfies with Jesus. <laughs> and so people people just love it. Some people live in Christmas Town. I mean, that's where their mansions are. And so it's a really fun, exciting place to be.